What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today, today we're going to do an updated version of the 2019 My Top 5 Recommended Fountain Pen Accessories. I have done one of these before um, and the list is sort of the same but also different. Um, so I thought I would make it again. Uh, one that is the same and one I would recommend to every fountain pen user, whether today is day one of using fountain pens or day one million, and that is any kind of pen case. I, over time, have found that I prefer rolls. Um, so this is just a little six pen pen roll. This one happens to be by Rickshaw, which I will be doing a review of very soon. Um, but I recommend any kind of pen case. I don't care if it's a single pen case. I don't care if it's meant for six pens, 12 pens, 30 pens, four, it doesn't matter. Any kind of pen case, anything that you can carry around, take with you, do whatever. Definitely some sort of pen case. This is going to be your number one best friend when it comes to fountain pens. Some way to carry them around, to protect them, to store them, to do whatever you want with them. Um, find your own style. Like I said, I prefer pen rolls. Um, some people prefer pen cases. Some people prefer to have like individual sleeves. Whatever you want, um, find it. But a pen case is number one. What do I recommend for number two? Uh, also something that I recommend for nearly every fountain pen user, and that is a bulb syringe. This uh, is a handy dandy trick that Brian Goulet came up with, uh, or I don't think he came up with it, but he made it popular anyways, to clean your fountain pens. So most people, when they get into the fountain pen hobby, they'll start with a cartridge converter fountain pen. Um, so instead of having a converter attached to the end of the pen and twisting and untwisting and twisting and untwisting water over and 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 over again to clean, you can suck this up instead of, you know, doing baby boogies, put it in some water, suck it all up. You can put the back of the uh, syringe onto the back of the pen. Uh, I do recommend holding onto it and you can flush it out. So you can hear just nothing but water going through right now. But this way you can clean your pen much, 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 much faster. Um, and it makes life so much easier. So that's number two is a pen bulb syringe. Well, it's not really a pen bulb syringe, it's just a bulb syringe, but for pens. Um, also going along with cleaning your pens, this I would recommend to any fountain pen user, um, but probably one who um, is maybe a little bit more involved in pens, um, and that is going to be some sort of pen flush. This one also happens to be by Goulet, but you can get them anywhere. You can even make your own. Um, it's totally up to you. This you don't have to use very often, but when you do, it comes in handy. So when you're cleaning your pen, and let's say you've used a shimmering ink, so there's lots of little sparkle particles, or, you know, heaven forbid you lost a pen, and then you found it again, and the ink is super duper 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 crusty on the inside, um, then, you know, when water isn't enough to clean it, you can use this. I recommend maybe pouring a little bit in like a sample vial and then um, pulling that up into your pen. Basically all that's in here is distilled water, ammonium hydroxide, and biodegradable surfactants. Um, so it's essentially like soap meant for pens. <laughs> um, it really helps clean out that gunk um, a lot better, especially if it's all crusty and blah. Uh, then this really helps to break all that down um, and it has saved my butt a couple times. Uh, so this is in my top five fountain pen accessories. Absolutely. Um, another thing that I use daily that is not going to be in everyone's top five, but is most certainly in my top five, and that is a journal. So when I think of fountain pen accessories, 
I always, 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 always think of a journal. You might not because an, the word accessory means like kind of to go with, to complement, right? For me, nothing complements a fountain pen more than a journal. Journaling has really changed my life in the last few years um, and I never go really Sometimes I'll go a day, but I never go like a week even without journaling. Um, so definitely I recommend some sort of journal. This one happens to be a Loistrom journal, but you can use whatever you want. Rhodia, Clairefontaine, Tomoe, anything. Moleskine, even if you want to, it's not the best, but it's an option. Um, that is definitely in my top five. Um, any of those four, really I would recommend to anyone, um, you know, starting out, not starting out, whatever. Pen flush is a little teeny, 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 teeny bit more advanced, but one accessory that I use frequently that I would not recommend for anyone who isn't comfortable with fountain pens already, but maybe something you can think about if you're just getting used to fountain pens now, is some sort of grip is the most random little thing, but again, has changed my life drastically. This is literally just a little rubber strip of rubber. <laughs> There's no other way I can describe it because that's what it is. And this is super duper handy for when you want to completely disassemble a pen. Um, not every pen, it has the nib and the feed have to be friction fit which is why I don't recommend it to most people who are just new, but most pens that are friction fit, you can put your thumb and your forefinger on the nib and the feed, and you can just pull it out like that. But some pens are stiff um, and are really in there, and when your hands are wet, when your pen is wet, it's really slippery, and you don't wanna to apply too much pressure because you could damage the fins of the feed. And that is where this comes in handy. So I'm thinking mostly for pilot pens too. That's when I've really needed these guys because then you can essentially do the same thing. So you're gonna you know, pinch the, the nib and the feed at the base, but you're gonna use this. So you're gonna use this little grip and then you're gonna pull it out using that. And that will um, give you well, <laughs> just like it's called, grip. Uh, it's gonna give you much better grip. It's going to uh, lessen the chance that you're gonna damage the fins. Um, and it's, it doesn't matter if it's wet or anything like that, um, it will really stay with you. And this little strip will last you a lifetime as long as you don't lose it um, because it's rubber. So it doesn't tear, it doesn't do anything really. <laughs> um, but it, oh man, will it save your butt. Um, Mostly, like I said, with Pilot pens, I've had some Parker pens, I've had some random ones that I can't even remember what the brand was, um, but I know that they're friction, like friction fit, and that's what you have to be careful with. You have to make sure that the nib and the feed are friction fit, which literally just means exactly that. It's, they're just inside the housing with friction. There's nothing specifically holding them in there. Um, so once they are that, you know that you can just pull it right out um, and this will get you um, the best grip on that um, if it is being stubborn. So those are my top five. Real quick video today. I mean quick might be a little overstated. It's still a 10 minute video but um, those are my top five uh, that I've been using for the past few years because it's been a few years since I've done a top five. Um, but those are ones I would recommend to anyone with the exception of that grip. Um, but to somebody who um, has been in the fountain pen hobby for a while, you want to deep clean your pen um, and you know you're going to like kind of just store it away for a while. That's when you're really going to want to grip. And yeah, what do you guys think? What are your top fives? I love the top five series because everyone has a different top five and it's so cool to figure out what everyone has. So definitely share it down below what your top five are. Everyone take a look at other people's, maybe get some inspiration for your own. Uh, check out my Instagram page. I post there all the time. It's just pens and tea. Um, and guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification if you want to be the first one to know when I post something. And guys, I love you as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.